Hello YouTube, welcome back with another video from Money Pro. I hope you having a good day. In this video we will discuss what's the best credit score to buy a house. So, let's start today's video. Getting a mortgage during the coronavirus pandemic could be harder than you expected, as lenders have raised credit score requirements because of concerns about the economy. If you're planning to get a mortgage, be prepared for your credit to come under extra scrutiny. Lenders use your credit score along with other details from your financial history, to determine whether you qualify for a home loan. But what credit score do you need to buy a house? Well, the answer depends on what type of mortgage you want. You'll need a FICO credit score of at least 500 to qualify for a Federal Housing Administration or FHA loan, but other programs may require a score of 620 or higher. Some lenders may have even tougher standards to guard against risk during the pandemic downturn. There's no universal credit score for a mortgage. The minimum credit score for a mortgage will depend on the type of loan, conventional or government-backed, and the lender. Unlike a conventional loan, a government-backed loan is insured by the federal government, which protects the lender if you default on your home loan. This guarantee makes qualifying for a government-backed loan easier than a conventional loan. While lenders differ, most require a 620 score and 580 seems to be the floor for most situations. You can buy a home with a FICO score of about 600, but you will be limited to mortgage programs for lower credit scores. Choices might include a Federal Housing Administration loan that requires a score of either 580 or 500, depending on your down payment, and Department of Veterans Affairs, or U.S. Department of Agriculture loans, which set no firm minimum. Whether you choose for a conventional or government-backed mortgage, you can expect stricter minimum credit score requirements as lenders respond to economic uncertainty caused by the pandemic. If your credit doesn't meet the minimum requirements, you may be asked to make a larger down payment. Income verification is also more intense for borrowers. If you want a jumbo mortgage, which exceeds the government's lending limits for mortgages backed by Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, lenders will expect a credit score to match. In most states, a jumbo loan is a mortgage that's more than $510,400, and you'll typically need a credit score of 680 or better to qualify. Many lenders require FICO scores of at least 720 for jumbo loans, but veteran borrowers can obtain them with credit scores of at least 640. Generally, the better your credit score, the greater your chances of getting approved for a mortgage at low interest rate. If your FICO score falls in the good range, between 670 to 739, you could qualify for favorable interest rates and terms. But a good credit score alone doesn't make you a lock for a home loan. Borrowers should bear in mind that even with a qualifying credit score, other factors, such as the amount of debt they are carrying, cash reserves, and other assets, can affect their ability to qualify for a particular loan. A lender will not only check your credit when you apply for a mortgage but also take into account your employment history and income, down payment, tax returns for the last two years, savings and investment accounts, profit and loss if you own a business, debt to income ratio, which is a measurement of how much of your income goes toward paying off debt each month, negative credit history, including delinquencies, charge-offs or bankruptcies. So, why do credit scores matter for home loans? There's a simple reason that lenders evaluate your credit history, including your credit score, when you're trying to buy a home. Credit scores are an indication of risk. In the eyes of most lenders, a lower score means higher risk. It won't be a roadblock to approval, but it often means paying more than if you had good credit. Generally, lenders view a credit score as a leading indicator of the borrower's likelihood to repay the loan. And as a result, we'll ask a borrower with a lower credit score to pay a higher rate all else being equal, even a small difference in your interest rate can add up to thousands of dollars over time. A 30-year $250,000 loan at 4% interest results in paying $179,674 in total interest, a quarter of a percentage point more cost and extra $13,072 in total interest. The higher interest rate translates to a higher monthly payment as well. You pay $1,194 at 4% and $1,230 at 4.25%. I hope this video will help you in search of your dream home. That's all. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel.